Before we get started on the video today, I wanted to touch base on the world, the reality, and how sad and horrifying it can be. India's crisis, the COVID crisis, and how their cases are going up exponentially every single day and there's been a lot of shortages in equipment at hospitals patients aren't even allowed to go into hospitals anymore overall i did feel like this crisis needs to be talked about more second i wanted to talk about colombia's protesting and the protesters the civilians that are angry because of the tax hike they're being placed on everyday goods that are directly affecting the middle and working class and people are getting really really mad about that because of the protests and the response from the government and the military in colombia there is word on a lot of censorship that colombians are dealing with right now so a lot of the information we're getting might not be fully effective as of right now i don't want to speak on the third event too much because I'm kind of ignorant when it comes to the tensions between Palestine and Israel but there was an attack on a district in Jerusalem and I've been reading on the tensions between Palestine and Israel and just to think of how how many people died and were injured in that occurrence I will be reading more on it but I wanted to mention it today because I urge others to read more on it as well and see what they can do from like where they are right now sometimes even just having discussions and providing awareness can be a lot and although my platform is really really small um, I felt like I still had an urgency to say something I'll be looking into my own donation links that I have like personally used and um, compiling whatever I can and uh, yeah just keeping my Twitter updated so if it's not in my description box by the time I post this video please do check out my Twitter which I'll also link in the description and yeah Just Ravs here. So today I'm going to be talking about brainstorming book ideas and then how to refine those ideas. Just to give a little insight on how I brainstorm my ideas. It started from brainstorming on the toilet. No, but like real talk. I don't know why. I always found the best ideas to hit me when I took a dump. Mm, it happened the most in high school, but this isn't really about me today, although I will be throwing in anecdotes here and there. I wanted to kind of go through like a step-by-step -step tips video where I'm talking about how to help you brainstorm and like where to start. How do you get your story? What to do? How to brainstorm? I will highlight what to do and where to start brainstorming in four steps. Number one. Reflect on the experiences that you have. And I'm not telling you to write an autobiography or a memoir. I am saying that sometimes even the smallest of things that have happened in your life can spark some sort of idea if you wanted it to. Before you go on and say, but like for the rest, I'm not, I'm not special. I like have nothing going on. I'm in bed all day. I don't even brush my teeth sometimes. It's okay that I'm not having that because there should be something in your life that is worth writing about because you are special you are loved and you are unique even though we live on a floating rock number two read read various genres figure out which ones you love which ones you love to open up and read and just like what you would want to write no thought is necessarily an original thought especially when it comes to books so don't feel like you have to rip an original thought out of like the air's ass because it's not possible. As long as you find comfort in writing what you write after reading the books that you loved. And if you're not much of a reader, which some writers are, some writers, including High School Ravina, was a writer that did not read. They exist. I would suggest to brainstorm and reflect on what genres that you could write in. What you feel like you could be familiar with, what you would want to write in. Honestly, pick away three, the classics, writing prompts. Usually I use it for like little exercises. I do like one hour a day, which I try to and it doesn't necessarily happen, but like we're not gonna talk. The beauty of writing prompts is similar to the original thought idea I was talking about earlier. You can give one writing prompt to many people and each person that receives that writing prompt will have various different stories across the board. Like nothing would 
match up. It would not be the same. Number four, trace your steps. Look and reflect on your past and if you have had book ideas come to you at random times. Try to remember what caused that spark. Were you talking to someone about something? What were you talking about? Were you taking a shit? And did you eat some sort of spicy food that day? Or what... What led you... <laughs> to that spark? Try to physically induce that spark as if you're a pregnant woman trying to pop out a baby, like trying to go into labor. Say those four steps that we discussed already managed to work and you now have some sort of idea. Now we're gonna go into the stage of refining those ideas and brainstorming further. Number five, identify what kind of brainstormer you are. Uh, what I mean by that is are you the type to take a notebook and just scatter words and phrases around Around the notebook until you land on something that is brilliant or are you the type to physically pace around like I do or are you the type that already jumps into outlining whatever it is if you're all three if you're something entirely different that I haven't mentioned yet if you're more of an auditory learner a visual learner all of those things matter when you're trying to figure out what kind of brainstormer you are number six this is where you can get into the nitty-gritty stuff like who is your character do they have a love interest do they not have a love interest? Is there a villain? What conflict is there? What causes the conflict? This is where you can kind of tease the plotting and get like get into the little good stuff. Number seven. I've watched a lot of other authors on this platform talk about this. I'll link them in the description below so you have other resources to help you brainstorm as well. I would suggest having playlists of music, having mood boards on Pinterest, or other artistic outlets where you can kind of map the theme of this idea that you have going on and get excited about it and in a way it kind of establishes theme before you even know it number eight this is where your idea transitions from an idea a brainstorm to plotting this is where i would suggest you start looking into plotting structures or any sort of outline which works for you and honestly start diving into the plotting because now your story is going from an idea mere spec of idea to now, a possible story that you will write and start drafting soon. That concludes the, in total, eight steps of me going from the spec idea brainstorming to an end 